Hey guys, welcome back to Ask Ham Doc. My name's Shane and I'm a final year medical student and neuroscience supervisor at the University of Cambridge. Today, we're going to be talking about how to write the best medical essay. <laughs> So let's get to it. We'll firstly start off by talking about a structure of an essay. So an essay consists of an introduction, the main body and a conclusion. So those are the three main components. So let's start off with the introduction. What should you include in the introduction? I personally would include two things. One are definitions and two is telling the reader what you're going to cover in your essay. So, start off with definitions. What do I mean by that? So, by definitions, we mean defining the concepts that you're going to be talking about or the key words that are included in the essay title. So, for example, if you are writing an essay uh, on the reward pathways in the brain, you might start off by defining what is reward and what are the main pathways present in the brain. And then towards the end of your introduction, you might include what you're going to cover in your essay. So essentially it's a quick summary of what your main points are going to be and basically a suggestion of what the conclusion is likely to be. Okay, so that automatically sets up the reader to know, okay, I know kind of what this essay is going to be about and I know what to expect. Then let's move on to the body of the essay. So the body of the essay usually should include three major points, okay? And, I, and you should split them up into possibly three paragraphs. And each section should begin with a active subheading. So what do I mean about, by active subheading? So a normal subheading might be something like reward pathway. However, an active subheading would be something like the ventral tegmental reward pathway is important for incentive motivation. So the difference there is that the subheading that you've written automatically tells the reader what to expect in that paragraph instead of just saying something like reward pathway. So when you guys are writing the main points in the body of your essay, it's important to do two things. One is present your point. Then it's always important to back it up with evidence because there's no point in just randomly saying something if you have nothing to back it up with and that's the difference between a creative essay and a scientific essay because whatever you say you have some backing to it therefore if you say something you need to include a scientific research paper or evidence from it that backs it up however there are some times where you are synthesizing your own points and own new concepts in that case, of course, you might allude to why you resulted in coming up with this point, which may be, you know, this point was suggested by this, this and this, or all of the evidence presented here suggests that this might be going on, etc. Another important thing to include in the body of your essays are diagrams. Diagrams and figures are very good, easy, quick ways to convey information to the reader. And often people shy away from this because they are either thinking it's going to waste a lot of time or you don't get any marks for it. However, the opposite is true. In fact, you can convey more information much more quickly through a diagram compared to if you are sitting down writing those points out. So I'm a big fan of diagrams and a big fan of figures. So definitely, definitely use them and please include a sentence like, please see figure one, which describes so, 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 okay? And then obviously label your diagrams and make sure they're useful, good, and do convey information. Finally, that brings us on to the conclusion. The conclusion should also include two things. One, it should essentially wrap up your essay. So you bring together all the points that you've made and you kind of summarize what you've talked about, okay? And then the second component is to convey to the reader what your final verdict is. So it's not just good enough to just describe something and then summarize it at the end. Arrive at a verdict. For example, um, you might say, the evidence presented here 
strongly suggests that the ventral tegmental area reward pathway is paramount for incentive motivation, which is important for evolution, etc., etc., etc. Okay? And that would be a very good way to summarize and conclude and finish your essay. Some quick, easy ways to get really high marks is to include certain things like evolutionary backing or background. So examiners really like people to think outside the box and take a bigger picture on things also. So for example, why do we have reward pathways? You know, it is important for evolution, it is important for natural selection, it means that you're going to outdo your competitors and you're going to arrive at a reward first and you're going to get more reward and therefore that's going to allow you to survive longer to a point where you can reproduce, pass on your genes, etc, etc. So using those evolutionary ideas shows the examiner that actually you know what you're talking about, you've thought about this in the wider context and you understand the bigger picture. And that would be just a very easy, quick way of getting marks. And the evolutionary concept applies to quite a lot of things and you can put it into a lot of your essays. So people ask me a lot of times if they need to put a reference in when they talk about some evidence. So if you're in your third year and you're intercalating and you're doing a degree, then yes, it's important to put a reference which can include the author's name, first author is enough, et al, followed by the year. However, it's much more important for you to read and understand the paper or understand the key point or describe the scientific paper or the method. Much, that's much more important than just remembering the name. And you're going to get more marks if you remember the methodology than if you just remember the name of the author. So, to summarise then, it's important to write an introduction, a main body and a conclusion. Your introduction should define the main concepts as well as introduce to the reader what you're going to be covering in your essay. Your main body should include at least three main points, should include active subheadings and it should also present necessary evidence to back up all the main points you're making. Finally, your conclusion needs to wrap it up all and bring everything together and finally give a verdict about what the main point or conclusion of your essay is. Okay? So hopefully you guys have found this video very useful and it's going to help you write some very good medical essays. And please like, follow and share. Make sure as many medical students as possible finds out about us and knows what we're trying to do. But from, that's it for me for today and I'll see you guys next time.